I worked on the snapper first and got it running. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video. Now I'm going to work on the Craftsman. Craftsman has a seven and a quarter horsepower engine, platinum engine series. Never change the oil. Just checking that. That does not sound like a good idea to me. So let's start by checking the oil and it looks nasty. It's also overfilled. See the full mark is way down there. All that is too much. Let me uh, tilt the mower to the side and drain some of that oil out. That's better, just below the full mark. Now let's check out the air filter. Holy moly, this poor mower was abused. That's bad, that's really bad. Let me see if there's fuel in there. There is. Do we have a spark plug? Yes we do. Let me give it a few pulls and see what happens. Well, that is the reason that I stopped trying to start it because it's so jerky trying to pull that pull cord that the handle slipped out of my hand. It's been a couple of days since that last segment when the pull cord was snapping back on me and in that time I watched a couple of videos trying to figure out why that might be happening. One is that the engine might be something called hydro locked and one thing that can cause an engine to be hydro locked is having too much oil in it and this one was overfilled by 14 ounces that's how much I drained out to get the level on the dipstick just below the full mark so one thing to do if you think your engine may be hydro locked from what I saw is to take the spark plug out which I have done, pull the pull cord and see if any oil comes out of the cylinder. No oil out of the cylinder. Second reason the pull cord may be snapping back is that the engine may be out of time. So to determine that we got to take the cover off and pull the flywheel off to check the condition of the shear pin. The engine has not jumped time because the shear pin is intact, so it's not a timing issue. Since I got it taken apart, I'm going to get it cleaned up. So I'm taking a fuel line loose, I'm going to take the gas tank off and clean that up, and then I'll clean up everything else. Gas looks clean. Doesn't look like there's any water in it. And this mower was made in, what, 2015. I'm going to drain the rest of the oil out. Now I'm going to stand the mower up on its end on the front to see if any oil comes out of the cylinder. That was a suggestion I saw in someone's video. And we have no oil at all coming out of the cylinder. So let me put the pull cord assembly back on, put the plug back in, give it a few pulls and see if it still snaps back. If it still snaps back, the only other thing that I saw to check is the valves. The valves may need to be adjusted. It still snaps back, so let me check out the valves. Just in case you haven't noticed, I am not a mechanic by any means. Not a car mechanic, not a small engine mechanic. I don't know squat about this stuff. But I do have a computer and I have access to the internet and YouTube. Here's the problem. That's not right. Question is, is something broken or do they just need to be adjusted? Let me go back and watch another video and try to figure out how to adjust these valves. I got the feeler gauge ready, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Following a video that I will put a link to down below in the description, I have adjusted the valves. So I'm going to put everything back together, put some oil in it, spray some starting fluid and see if it'll fire up. I'm going to put the oil that I just drained out, I'm going to put that back in. Hey. All right, we're back together. Everything's on except the air filter. Fuel tank has a little bit of fuel in it, so let's see if it'll crank without starting fluid. <laughs> It's 
It is the next day and I'm double checking the valve clearances that I set yesterday because the engine was running pretty rough, burning a lot of oil. And again, I'll put down below in the description, I'll put a link to the video that showed me how to adjust the valves. Gonna put some fresh gas in it also and then crank it back up and see if it's any better. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Might help if I hooked up the spark plug. So this motor's back running halfway decently after being 14 ounces overfilled with oil and having an air filter that it looks like the previous owners never changed. The pull cord snapping back turned out to be the valves that needed to be adjusted, specifically the valve up top, the exhaust valve. You saw how loose that was. Easy fix. There's a link up here in the top left to the other mower, the snapper video. That was the main jet and the automatic choke. That's it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.